going into Charleston Southern, I mean, we played a lot of triple option teams before, so, you know, we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into. You know, we had a game plan of, you know, really it's just assignment football. You know, one person has the QB, one person has the running back, and it's really just about making tackles. At the beginning of the game, you know, we kind of struggled a little bit. Coach told us that, you know, we're a good football team. We can beat these guys. All we got to do is do everything that we worked on in practice. We got back to that, got focused, locked in, and good things happened. Coming back like that, it shows that we have a lot of resilience. It shows that, you know, we're not just going to give up when times get tough, you know. So I think that was really good to see from our defense. Just to see the adversity and how we handled it, you know, it was a good thing to see because, you know, it's not going to be a walk in the park in the CAA. Good job, man. Great job. Okay, come back in the second half the way we did. All right? The lesson here is pretty simple. You got to always have an edge when you go out there and play. Because if you don't, you end up at halftime like we did. And we came out and played with poise and effort in the second half. Hey, family on three, family on three, one, two, three. Family. Hey! hey. 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 They've had to be, they've had to be fighters. They, they were born premature. Um, things were a little scary. He's sighing. You're sighing. Yeah, you just one month early. They've been together since day one. They've been teammates. They've been roommates. Um, and they, they really pretty much, they do get along, thank God, because they're together a lot. We didn't bicker a lot as kids. We were each other's best friends. I guess that transitioned into football. We worked well together. You know, he was my offensive lineman when I was a running back. He was my defensive lineman when I was a linebacker. When they were in high school and being recruited, the schools that were looking at them, most of them were CAA, and they would have played against each other. So, you know, when Elon came along, it was just, it's the perfect fit. Well, things got off to kind of a rough start for both of them. We tore our left labrums. I tore mine the third day of camp. He tore his, like, the first scrimmage. And the nurses were just confused because they looked on the board and they had just brought Eric back. And, they said, well, that's Eric Whitehead, born 12, 17, 96. But there's an R Whitehead in the operating room, born 12, 17, 96, with the same injury. And, you know, they just kind of looked at us and we're like, we said, yeah, they do everything together. It's kind of like I just grew up with my best friend my entire life. I didn't realize how important a brother was until college. You know, a lot of people struggle to find friends, but, you know, I always had a friend and a roommate all all four years here, so it was just nice, you know, going through all the time, difficult times you go through in college, just having that one person by your side. I get asked a lot if it's weird that we play in college together, but it really, since we've always done it, we've always played together, so it's really, it just feels like the, like the norm. Yeah, you and Ace, they've been a really good football team. You know, they made the playoffs, I think, for the past 14 years. So, you know, we knew we were going to have to do our job. You know, we got back to our bread and butter plays and we just executed. On the goal line sack, uh, we, we were running the play, so I was blitzing the B gap. And you know, the guard, he, he came on me. I ended up slipping off of him, and um, 
kind of able to push them outside, and then Willoughby was able to get the sack. So, you know, it was good teamwork, you know, good effort on both, both guys there. Just having these coaches come in here and, and show us and teach us new things, new techniques, it's great. It feels good to be able to win games. They started off as preferred walk-ons, as my husband mentioned. Um, they worked really hard. They were here all year long. They, they came in the summer. They did whatever the scholarship players were doing. They were here. They did classes. They did workouts. But this is what they really wanted to do. So last year, Coach Signetti called them both in, and they were awarded scholarships. So the scholarship that I was awarded was the uh, Mark Foley scholarship. And he was also a former walk-on at Elam who then earned a scholarship. He, when he, he passed away, his friends and family decided to start a scholarship in his name for those players who went through a similar situation, who was a walk-on, then awarded a scholarship. And I got the opportunity to meet Mr. Foley this past week after UNH, and he was just telling me all these great stories about him, uh, how he was just a hard player. He loved the sport, loved his teammates, and they wanted to make sure that his legacy lived on. And I feel like it's my duty now to make sure that his legacy lives on so that the next person who's awarded the scholarship can continue that and that his name is never forgotten. And going through scout team, it's a lot, it's rough, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of just getting killed by the, the first teamers is not very fun, but you know, just, we both worked so hard for this, you know, we played football together since we were the freshman in high school, so just getting it the same day just meant a lot. It's one of the proudest moments um, and they did it it was all it was all them I mean this was all their hard work and they love this team they love this school um, they love this game <laughs>